Hi, Ruth. Uh, congratulations on a fantastic film. Thank you. Uh, it's brilliant. So, could you just start by telling us a little bit about your role and how you got involved in the project in the first? Um, yeah, my name is, well, the character's name is Petula Spencer, and she is the owner of a theatre. She's a theatre impresario. Um, and she's, uh, she has a play which is the longest running play in the West End, or it becomes the longest running play in the West End. So, she's got a very successful play. Um, but the writer wants to get it made as a film. So that's the kind of premise of the show. Um, I got attached to it, I started joining it back, what is it, a year and a half ago now? So it was back 20 January 21, 2021, I can't remember. And uh, during COVID, and it was like, it was amazing to do this and be filming in a lot of our theatres, which were closed at the time, obviously, and be doing this show about actors and people in the theatre. So it was actually really magical to be back in the stages, on the stages which weren't being used at the time, you know. And what's it like working with such a, a sort of star ensemble cast and the director, Mark, and the writer? How, how did that work? Uh, it, it worked great, you know. <laughs> um, it was amazing. They're an amazing bunch of people. And but sitting in a room with everyone rehearsing. for We had like a few days rehearsal. And it was just a joy to be with everyone. And um, the best bits were when we had the sort of ensemble bits near the end of the film. Um, and suddenly it was like slapstick humor. It's very fun and us playing around and taking the piss. So it's a, <laughs> it was a lot of actors in a room playing around. I'm sure the, I'm sure the director hated us, but it, <laughs> it was great fun to do. And did you get to kind of add anything into the script yourself or was it very regimented in your life? A bit of both. There was, Mark was, I mean, the script was so good anyway and very quick paced and there wasn't a huge amount of improvisation, but there were ways, you know, in character traits and I don't know, my character talks to herself quite a lot or mumbles things to herself. So that was, I was doing that quite a lot on the set. So I, think, I don't know if it's come through or not. But yeah. And lastly, um, so I think, I mean, obviously everyone loves a huge, you know, yes. who's done it and everyone loves a bit of humour. So um, what do you think is kind of the, the draw to this genre? What's the, the appeal? Um, I don't know, it's fun, isn't it? It's like people love solving mysteries and love watching mysteries unfold. And they're usually, the characters are usually sort of caricatures and people we can sort of laugh at and also resonate with. Um, and I think this one is definitely some more sort of comic version of uh, the murder mystery. So it's in the same genre, you know, it's in that genre, but it's definitely a bit of a more funny version. So it's just a fun night out for everyone. You know, you can work out who killed who and have fun while you're doing it. Thank you very much for speaking to you. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.